Taste is an important sense, so why is it that some animals have such a screwed up palate? Hey there friends, Trace here for D News. Bacon is one of the great foods of the carnivorous world. I had some for lunch, but whales can't even taste it. Pie is another fantastic food and dolphins can't taste that. Oranges? Nope. Ice cream cake? No. I weep for their childhoods. Firstly, pretty much every vertebrate has the ability, genetically speaking, to taste things. And molecularly, they should taste in the same way that we do. But not all organisms need to taste every type of food, and thus they lose some tastes as they evolve. Many invertebrates, like insects and even microorganisms, have evolved cells which have a sense like taste for the same reasons as us, because they want to make sure the food that they are putting into their bodies is good for them. Smell and taste are the oldest senses, because they facilitate the testing of food and determine if it's safe to eat. Herbivores have the most taste buds, so they don't eat toxic plants. Carnivores have the least, because unless they're eating poisoned frogs, they really don't need a lot of flavor in their uncooked meat diet. Omnivores have both, so they get a lot of taste buds too. Whales, however, used to be able to taste things, but not anymore, says a new study in Genome Biology and Evolution. So what happened was, 53 million years ago, whales and dolphins split into two groups, cetaceans with teeth and those without. Turns out if you just swallow your food and you don't chew, you probably won't need taste buds. Therefore, slowly over generations, they lost the molecular receptors to detect sweet, bitter, umami, and sour. Today, they only taste salty flavors. The researchers tested the genomes of 15 species of whale and dolphin, and the taste genes were present in their DNA, but they were heavily mutated. As the mutations increased, the genes of those species slowly became less and less expressed until they ended up with pseudogenes. It's kind of like a shadow of a gene, or where a gene used to be. They can still see it in the genome, but it doesn't develop in a fully grown organism. Remember, taste isn't purely about enjoyment. It's also a way for us to determine nutritional content in food and sense poisons or rot. So now that humans are in the mix, this lack of flavors can be damaging to these ocean-bound creatures. Without being able to sense flavors in the water, whales mm, have unknowingly wandered into contaminated waters. The researchers think that the whales and dolphins kept salty flavors due to the need to maintain an intake of salt to maintain blood pressure and sodium levels. But large swimming mammals aren't the only ones to lose some of their taste. Lions, Asian otters, hyenas, some seals, house cats, and other primarily carnivorous mammals lost the sense of taste millions of years ago, also due to genetic mutation. They get some, but not all of them. Because these animals are mainly carnivorous, they don't care how many sweets and carbs they ingest. So over time, they lost the ability to taste sweet stuff. Fish have a lot of taste buds. Some are even on the outside of their skin. Reptiles pick up air molecules with their tongue and run it across their Jacobson's organ on the roof of their mouth to pick up tastes and smells. Some birds, like parrots and cockatiels, have a ton of taste receptors, with the cockatiel being able to sense salt, sugar, and acid flavors. But in general, birds only have a few, like chickens. We've only got like 30 taste buds. Poor chickens. Poor delicious chickens. So what do you think? Do you eat for the flavor, the texture? Are you one of those people who just eats for fuel? Tell us below in the comments and be sure you subscribe for more D News. Dogs can taste sweet, by the way, so don't forget to check out Animalist's new show, Best Breed Ever, where they'll tell you everything you want to know about your favorite dog breeds, like, did you know Golden Retrievers? They're from Scotland. Subscribe to Best Breed Ever and learn to love dogs more than your Instagram friends could even handle. Thanks for watching D News. See you later.